EastEnders spoilers, oi, oi, Mick Carter's back, Ian's going to slimming club and Denise is close to breaking point. But someone's nervous about Mick's return. Max is surprised to see Jack's lawyer at home. He called him because, after the tussle with Charlie, he's scared it'll affect his custody of Matthew. But the brief tells him not to worry as Charlie was the one who started it. Just when he thinks he can relax, Jack is stunned when the police arrive to arrest him and take him into custody. Ian bites the bullet, that's all he'll be eating for a while, and goes for his first appointment at the Slimming Club. There, he meets some friendly faces and it seems to go well. So well in fact, that he surprises Jane when he decides to go for a run afterwards. Kim holds a meeting about plans to close the community center. Martin grows frustrated with Stacy. And even though Whitney has known for a long time that her marriage is over, it's still a dreadful shock for her when she gets a letter from Lee's lawyer, asking her for a divorce. It looks like she'll be moving on faster than perhaps even she'd wanted. After yesterday's frustration at the job center and, unable to afford to buy herself anything to eat, Denise realizes she's left with no choice but to go to the food bank. Guess who's working there, in a smart blouse from M and S, we notice, but Cora? Embarrassed at how her life's worked out, Denise panics and leaves. Mick returns to Albert Square, nice haircut, by the way, and gets straight back into the books. Shell's nervous because she hasn't been keeping him up to date with everything that's been going on. Is he about to discover the truth about the freehold, and when he does, how will he take it? Take it.